What's up, guys? I'm Chris Kiefer. We're at Paula Raceway. To the left of me, you guys remember, number 170, Michael Lieb. Well, he is the founder, right? Founder of Canvas MX. So let's flash back eight years, maybe. I was at Dirt Rider Magazine, and I did one of the very first easy, easy eight years? Go six. That was like six years ago. Six years. Okay, he's yelling at me. Six years ago, Dirt Rider, I did the first one of the first tests on canvas gear. So he knew I like all white gear. So basically what we did here today, he made custom gear, and this is what Canvas does, makes custom gear for every media outlet here today. So I brought Michael in to talk about a little bit about the company, where you're coming from, and more importantly, that you guys can manufacture gear right here in the United States. So give us some background here. Yeah, so background-wise, I mean, you want the full story? Let's go the full story. Let's go to the full story. So uh, we, we didn't plan to ever started, well, I should say I didn't plan to ever start a gear company. It wasn't my initial goal. My initial goal was to do all white gear so that we could do title sponsorship stuff for racing. And with with the racing side of things, um, we were doing title sponsorship stuff and all white gear. And then long story short in 15, I got hurt and I got contacted by a company from Argentina called Radical. They were uh, basically telling me that they can import all white, all black gear, which obviously is hard to get. You're either going to run a gear brand or you're gonna pick a different color, so on. So um, it turned into a gear company after I got hurt to import all black and all white gear. And we turned it into a gear company about six months or so later, I brought Chuck Carruthers in as a partner. And um, we played around with Argentina import for about a year and a half. And then we tried to make stuff in USA. And we've spent the last five years trying to perfect that. And long story short, it just hasn't come to fruition in January. I was pretty much at a turn point where I was going to kill Canvas and be done, or I was going to figure out how to go manufacture it and do it ourselves. Uh, so I formed another company called Lucid, and Lucid is located in Marietta, and they're, we're a full-blown gear manufacturer uh, for Canvas and other brands. So um, we are 100% made in USA, making custom gear, and yeah. So what's cool about that, obviously it's made right here in the United States, which is, which is very cool, which is non-existent nowadays in the gear company world. And for me, from where it started six years ago, from now it has evolved so much. So the jersey, obviously for me, just first impressions here real quick, really good ventilation. I like that. It's really hard, me and Michael were talking, to get a jersey that ventilates well in the heat of the summer here in Southern California without getting crusty or just hard after you sweat or get it wet. So this material right here is very good as far as soft to the skin and it ventilates well. The pants, although, more of an athletic fit is very stretchy. I had a guy here, he's size 34 today. He wore a 32 pant, but was able to get enough adjustment to actually fit inside the 32. So although you have that nice athletic fit, it moves around on the bike well, it stretches, and uh, it feels good on the bike. So another thing that I like too is the leather. So when you get a leather in a knee in any pant, sometimes the leather is not long enough, and you end up burning your pant first day out. Nothing pisses me off more when you buy $200 pants and then you got a hole in it within two hours. So we won't talk about the guy behind the camera right now. He crashed and he may or may not have ripped his pants, but that's a sharp foot peg. That's another time, right? We'll talk about that later. But for me, there's a blend of durability and performance. You have to weave that in together to make the consumer happy. And that is very difficult to do with gear sets these days. So um, I'm sure Mike, Pinnacle of the Sport, Supercross, you're looking for lightweight, more so lightweight than durability, but with the consumer, you got to switch all that up. Well, you've got a third factor too, and the third factor is, is we customize the artwork on the gear. So we had to slim down the amount of panels that a pant has, and you can't use a really thick material when you have such few panels because you, you're going to have so much bagginess, you're going to look like MC Hammer. Um, the other factor that you got to include is when you make a custom pant you're not mass producing you're producing one by one so we cut a lot of panels out of the pant and went to a stretchy material because that's what we had to do as far as a performance fit and the performance fit versus the customization versus making in USA you can't make all the bells and whistles in USA like you can in China the labor's way cheaper over there they mass produce that stuff and they're making you know 20 to 30,000 pieces in one go where we're making one of one so you know you can come to me and say hey we're gonna make key for testing gear Boom, one set of gear. You can't go do that anywhere else. So that's another factor to include is how simple that we had to slim all the patterns down to, and it was harder to get the fit like that. Um, but that was, that was another factor. For you guys out there wondering, hey, 
I need a set of gear. I have a sponsor. You could be get sponsored by your dad's construction company or whatever. You can actually promote your dad's construction company on your gear with a set of canvas gear. Canvas gear. That's what's cool. You have the artwork. You give it to these guys, and they can do it all for you. For me, if I'm sponsoring a guy, I want to have my logo more on on more on the bike. I want it on the body as well. So for me, you get more for the buck if I'm sponsoring you, right? So this is a great idea. We were talking about privateers back in the day, like how much money it costs to race. So if you guys are actually, actually looking for people out there for a sponsorship, this is a great opportunity for you guys to pitch that to them. Um, I get a lot of kids out there, how do I get sponsored? How do I get sponsored? Well, these days, it's not about so much giving or getting. You gotta actually do something extra, just more than just being fast. You were fast. And now we're here. How old are you now? I uh, just turned 31. See, not all dirt bike guys are stupid. Some guys are actually really smart. We got Michael here. He created uh, something out of his life from motorcycles. You can do something besides just race motorcycles and uh, give back and also make money. To me, that's the definition of making it, right? More or less, yeah. And the, another factor to add on that on that topic is, you know, not only do we make all branded gear. I mean, you could take mom and dad's logo and throw it on here. Canvas does not have to be on our gear. On our branded gear, when we're going to do it, we're going to do a drop every month of a new design that will be for that month available in Canvas branded product. But we have an online 3D designer that you can go and customize anything. We have artwork and other capabilities. If you need help or if you need help designing stuff, we can do that. Not only that, but we offer gear for for teams we can put dealer gear in, in uh, dealerships we can do bulk purchasing um, you know we we sell a lot of jerseys every month to a lot of bulk clubs or whatever it is so our retail pricing is our onesie twosie pricing and yeah it's made in USA it's custom it's a one-off it's a little bit more expensive we retail about 280 for a patent jersey um, but there's a lot of applications that you can use our product for rather than just you either like the brand great you either want to go do something custom great you got a shop or, a, or something you want to promote and people like it and you want to sell it, we can offer it as a resale item to you too. So with Canvas, is there just one set of gear? Like say, I'm going to create something, have my artwork, going to send it in. Is there just one line of gear? Is there going to be more out? Right now, there's going to be one. We are going to offer an Enduro line here probably within the next six to ten months. Uh, right now, this is the Panton Jersey Cut. We do have two new jersey styles that we're testing now. We are also going to be coming into the mountain bike world with a mountain bike pant and a mountain bike short. Um, so really what today is, here's the baseline, here's where we are, here's where we're starting. And um, it's only onward and upward from here. And the only way that we could do that is to basically take the manufacturing control in our own hands. Because that's if you want something right, you do it yourself. So. As far as finding us, canvasmx.com. Our Instagram's canvas underscore mx. Um, our email's info at canvasmx.com. You're either going to get a hold of Chuck or I. And um, yeah, we're, we're here to help. There you go, guys. A gear company a owner actually rides a dirt bike, still does, rides at a high level, and it's good gear. So um, we're going to have more about this gear over on keyforinktesting.com. You can check that out. And don't forget, Racer X publication, 12 issues, $30. Get a free gift. That's always cool. You can still read magazines these days, people. I know my 16-year-old son prefers YouTube, but magazines are still cool. I still like that. So we'll be back with more tests. Don't forget, more fun stuff over on racerxonline.com. See you later.